Hello, my name is Ali Hassani and I'll be presenting our paper, Neighborhood Detention Transformer. I'd like to thank my co-authors, Stephen Walton, Jachen Lee, Shen Lee, and Professor Humphrey Shi. In this paper, we propose neighborhood detention, a localization of self-attention with linear time complexity with respect to input size. The animation on the right depicts a 14 by 14 feature map and neighborhood attention with window size 7. Instead of each query attending to all keys is in self-attention, it's restricted to its nearest neighbors. This pattern and more generally attention patterns with a sliding window are difficult to implement and this has prevented them from being studied thoroughly. To address that issue, we implemented neighborhood attention in C++ and CUDA and packaged them as a PyTorch extension. To demonstrate its potential, we build neighborhood attention transformer, which we apply to image classification, object detection, and image segmentation. Let's start off with a bit of background. As you may already know, in dot product self-attention, every input token, in this case pixel, attends to every other token. Among the many highly desirable properties this method bears are global interdependency modeling and global receptive field. Self-attention is also equivariant to translations, a property we're used to seeing in CNNs. It's no surprise that some of these properties come at a cost, a quadratic time complexity with respect to input size. This is why in Vision specifically, we're interested in avoiding this in order to scale to larger image resolutions. Sliding window attention, aka SASA, does exactly that by localizing self-attention. The name is from the first Vision paper proposing it standalone self-attention, but variations for NLP also exist. The idea is straightforward. We simply have every token or pixel attend to a fixed number of tokens or pixels around it and ignore the ones that are out of bounds. End result, linear complexity. It also remains translationally equivariant. Drawback is that it reduces the global receptive field to a linearly growing receptive field. The main challenge, however, is implementation. Excluding the softmax, self-attention is two matrix multiplications. Convolutions can be modeled as matrix multiplications with very limited overhead. As a result, these two operations are highly optimized on most hardware accelerators such as GPUs. Because matrix multiplication is both among the most optimized routines in linear algebra libraries, and hardware accelerators target optimizing matrix multiply and accumulator MMA operations as well. That's what NVIDIA's tensor cores basically do. That does not hold true for this approach. To our knowledge, it's both impossible to model this as a gem the same way convolutions are, or to implicitly extract sliding windows using Python interfaces, and explicitly extracting them is both inefficient and consumes a lot of memory. The original SASA paper and works that followed echo this issue, and there's been a very limited number of papers studying such patterns as a result. Another problem is the zero padding. It effectively reduces interactions in corner cases. This is, matters especially when we're using larger window sizes, which we're particularly interested in when localizing self-attention. Larger windows lead to more corner cases, which creates a scalability issue for this pattern. This brings us to partitioned or window self-attention, which is used in models such as Swin Transformer. This approach partitions inputs and applies self-attention to each partition separately. It not only has a linear time complexity like SASA, it can be implemented trivially with very little overhead and maintains a fixed number of interactions per token, neither of which can be said about SASA. However, on its own, it prevents the receptive field from going that's why Swen authors propose to alternate between it and a shifted variant dubbed shifted window self-attention. The combination of the two allows the receptive field to grow linearly again. They are, however, not translationally equivariant. So there's a trade-off between ease of implementation and the flexibility and symmetry that sliding window attention provides. Now let's move on to what we propose to revisit sliding window attention. We start off by defining a new pattern, neighborhood attention. Every token or pixel attends to its nearest neighbors. You can see it's sliding across the input without compromising the fixed number of interactions per token and maintains linear complexity. Its receptive field grows linearly similar to SASA. It's also translationally equivariant. So it's basically resolving a key issue in SASA and maintains its useful properties. A new property in neighborhood attention is that it can slowly approach self-attention when we increase window size. This allows you to flexibly reduce interactions in self-attention, whether it's for efficiency or to reduce redundancy, all depends on your application. But the idea is that you can replace self-attention anywhere with NA and start reducing interactions to see the effects. 
Implementation remains a challenge and in some ways worsened because this pattern was not directly implemented anywhere. This led to our development of Natin, a PyTorch extension linking to CPU and CUDA kernels implementing NA. Notice that implementing NA using Python interfaces alone by explicitly extracting sliding windows is just not scalable. It would take over nine days to train a tiny model that's 28 million parameters on eight A100s. Even with naive CUDA kernels, one can significantly reduce latency, but reaching a competitive latency is, of course, more challenging. One of the key concepts that helped Natin finally reach competitive throughput was our tiled algorithm, which utilizes shared memory, but I'll skip this here. You can find more details on that in the paper. If we compare forward pass latency per layer between SWEN and neighborhood attention, we can see higher throughput at scale on Ampere. And of course, our latest kernels are available via PEP. You can refer to our website, select your PyTorch and CUDA version, and get an install command with pre-built binaries. Now let's move on to experiments, starting off with architecture. NA blocks are transformer encoder layers, but with neighborhood attention instead of self-attention, so I'm alert to SWIN in this regard. We also use 7x7 windows. The overall architecture is a hierarchical vision transformer with four levels. Producing feature maps with the conventional scales, again, similar to SWEN. However, there's two changes to the architecture compared to SWEN. One is we used overlapping convolutions to downsample instead of non-overlapping, aka patch downsampling. And as a result of the overhead from those, we also had to make our model slightly deeper but with smaller inverted bottlenecks to produce comparable variance in terms of parameters and flops. Note that the new architecture's peak throughput tends to be slightly below that of SWEN, which is more visible in classification, but not as much in downstream tasks. We did ablations on architecture, so you can refer to the paper for more details on that. On to the experiments, starting with classification, where we see NAT outperform not only SWEN, but also Confnext, a relatively new CNN baseline. In object detection and instant segmentation, again, we see a performance improvement across scales over SWEN, specifically when using cascaded mask RCNN. And in semantic segmentation, we again see improved performance over SWIN. In conclusion, we found sliding window attention's primary challenges. We attempted to resolve implementation by, uh, with our Natin package, which is still an ongoing effort. And as for performance, the neighborhood property in NA allows it to scale better than sliding window. We note that when localizing self-attention, NA offers more flexibility compared to the standard baseline plot, aka window attention, while maintaining properties that exist in self-attention and convolutions. And based on experiments, we find that models based on NA are just as scalable in terms of performance on classification and downstream tasks. And this concludes our presentation. We hope you found it useful. Be sure to check out our GitHub page and our webpage to install Natin and plug in neighborhood attention into your work today.